I like to say, is it me or is it you? You know, so me, is, it me, is it me or is, is it, it me, the company? Have I created the environment? Am I have unreasonable expectations of you? Have I done my work up front by saying, what would it take for someone to be successful in the job? That's, that's how we start. We create what we call a performance profile. Performance profile says, here's the environment in which our jobs work. Here's specifically what this job does. And here are the attributes of someone who would do it well. We know what we're looking for. Why? Because we know what it has to get done, and we know the environment in which that job works. So shame on us if we put somebody in a job that doesn't meet that criteria. So going into it, that's us. So if I've done that well, screened you well, interviewed you well, um, set a clear set of expectations, meet with you on a regular basis, so OK, we've done my piece, and I've got a lot of pieces to do, I still get to, to, to say, is it you? If I've done all my piece and it's still not happening, now I'm a little bit more inclined to think it's you and not me. <laughs> if I haven't done all these things, I get it. You know, I, I owe you that. In today's workplace, it is about fit. We think our way through the day. Even in a production when we're following a process, I still have to think. 99% of the day just doesn't go exactly as I'd like it. So <laughs> the me that's there in this moment has to be aware enough to say, okay, that shifted this way, what do I want to do? But I've got to be mindful or, or present enough. And if I don't like this or the things that the company owes me, a great workplace, clear set of expectations, reasonable pay, all of that stuff, if that's not in place, it's busy spinning. And if it's spinning, the rest of this big executive function brain is caught up in feeling like I've been wronged 